the falafel do you have on? Bro, are you serious right now? Do you even know what day it is? Tuesday, yeah! <laughs> it's Tuesday! <laughs> yeah, and now you know, right? Yeah? Yeah, I know what day today is, of course. It's Taco Tuesday! Tyrannosaurus Tuesday? Theodore Roosevelt Tuesday? Dedo Tuesday? Tandoori Tuesday? Do you see this? It's Tiffany Tuesday! It's Tiffany Tuesday! Taco Tuesday. I already got a T-vote, man. Don't worry about it. No, silly! It's the new segment on my YouTube channel where I paint random things <laughs> Tiffany. You know what? You know what? Hold on, hold on. Enough of me talking. Just watch this. Oh, this way. Over here. Follow me. Come on. You guys missed the intro, didn't you? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? I am David Got Kicks. Welcome back to another video. Happy Tiffany Tuesday. It feels so good to be back and doing Tiffany and doing Tiffany Tuesdays again. This is a quick reminder that Tiffany Tuesdays will be every other Tuesday. For example, I'm dropping one today. There will be no Tiffany Tuesday next week, but there will be one the week after that. If that makes sense and so on throughout the year. But yeah, without wasting any more of you guys' precious time, you guys are here for a custom, so let's get right into all the materials that I will be using today. Here is a list of all the materials that I will be using for today's video. Starting off with, oh my gosh, no way. How did my AirPods get here? Ugh, silly me. Starting from left to right, we have an assortment of different paintbrushes, both thick and thin. It is important to have multiple size different paintbrushes, depending on what you are painting. Of course, thin for smaller areas, thick for the thicker parts. I have some cotton and some leather prep in the glazer, and I just realized there's no leather on this shoe, so honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna have to use this. So, pretend you didn't see this. I have some Angelus Flat Black and some Angelus Gift Box Blue. The one and only, the Tiffany colorway, the whole reason I am doing this video, the beautiful Gift Box Blue. Next to it, I have some Jet Black Leather Dye. I have some Soul Bright and I have some Golden GAC 900. I'll get into that a little later on when we're gonna use them, but let me show you the sneaker that we will be using. Man, oh man, this is a beautiful Jordan 11. The funny thing about this shoe is this shoe was actually sitting at a Nike outlet and I was able Able to pick it up for $174 out the door. But yeah, take a good look at the shoe because when I am done with this sneaker, when I am done painting it, when I am done doing what I do, it is not gonna look like this at all. It's gonna become a whole different shoe. But yeah, without wasting any more of you guys' precious time, you guys are here for a custom, so let's get right into it. Wait, 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 I forgot one more color. I will also be using Flat White from Angelus Direct. And if you guys are interested in picking up any of these products that I just mentioned, maybe you wanna try custom out yourself, I will leave a link in the description down below for Angelus Direct. Angelus Direct is the number one spot to go to when it comes to customizing and restoring sneakers. Even if you don't plan on buying anything, I recommend just checking out the website to see what you could potentially buy in the future. They added tons of new items, so go ahead and check it out. Link in the description. So the first thing that I will be doing to the sneaker is removing the shoelaces. Let's begin.
All right, so the sneaker is pretty much all done being painted Tiffany. Now we just gotta do the edges. If you guys notice in my videos, I never use tape. But if you're gonna full sand it and not use tape, make sure you leave a little gap like this. Then you can go back with a smaller paintbrush to touch it up and fill in all those gaps around the sneaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the edges as well as the trim. Let's go. So if you look really closely on the right side of the trim that is painted Tiffany and this side has yet to be touched. I really love the way that the trim looks all painted, really gives the sneaker a factory finish. But for the next part, I will be getting out some white Angelus paint and I will begin painting over the Jumpman logo on the heel. After I paint it white, I will then paint it Tiffany blue. The reason I'm painting it white first is so that it will be easier to paint Tiffany at the end. Now for the next part, I have some flat black, I have some GAC 900, and I have a cup. Inside the cup is a one-to-one -one ratio of flat black and GAC 900. GAC 900 is a fabric painting medium, and it's meant for painting on soft fabrics so that it can keep the texture and it won't become stiff. Let's continue. Alright, now that the Jumpman is all done being painted Tiffany, now we're going to work on the heel. This part is very important and you need to make sure that you have a small detailing brush for this. Patience is key with this. This is the first time I ever painted the 23 on the heel and I really love the way that it came out. Yes! I need you guys to leave a big like on this video just for that. Let's continue. So the next thing that I will be doing is getting the Soul Bright Jet Black Leather Dye and a cup. I will then mix a one to one ratio of Soul Bright and the Black Dye. David, 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 you are such a noob. Oh, no, 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 no! This custom was going so good. It's okay, I'll fix it. All 
right, so this custom was coming out so good until some of the dye decided to bleed onto the midsole. But it is A-OK. -okay. I know it looks like trash right now, but I will fix that up and clean that up. First, I will try to use some leather prep in the glazer, some acetone to try to remove that paint. And if that doesn't work, then I will just paint over it with some flat white. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that stuff like this does happen sometimes. It's not the end of the world. As long as the end results don't show this, then everything will be A-OK. -okay. Alright you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video in any way, please let me know in the comment section down below. Honestly, I love, love, love the way that the sneaker came out. Compared to what the sneaker looked like before, the shoe looks 10 times better in my opinion. Not just because it's Tiffany, but just because it looks different. And this is a sneaker you don't really see every day. Well, a color you don't see every day. In my opinion, I feel like this sneaker still looks good with an unpainted sole, but I wanted to see what the painted sole looked like. And in my opinion, I like the painted sole a lot better. Do you guys prefer the painted sole or the unpainted sole? You let me know. I'm so excited to be bringing back Tiffany Tuesday to this channel. Some of you guys might hate it, some of you guys might love it. I personally love it, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. And just a quick reminder, I will be uploading Tiffany Tuesday every other week. I do that just so it doesn't become too repetitive. That way I can have time to work on different customs during the week as well. But yeah, comment something down below that you would like to see me paint Tiffany in the future. Who knows, I might just pick it. Thank you again for all the love and support that you guys have been showing me and my channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys next time for the next video. It is your boy, David Guy Kicks, the Tiffany Tuesday King God. All right, peace.